Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I just want to go over real quick what I am bringing on my daughter, my almost five month old daughter's first road trip. It's going to be about six hours and we're going to be going from the Chicagoland area to St. Louis. <clears throat> so as I pack, I just want to let you know exactly what I'm bringing. I'm not going to be able to tag everything because most of them were gifts, but this will give you a good idea of what to bring and then afterwards I'll do a follow up on were there any other things I needed to purchase and how this worked out for me. So of course, first things first is toiletries. I'm going to go ahead and bring some gripe water because she has been constipated and gassy. In her diaper bag, I also have the constipation ease version of this. We only do the nighttime gripe water because the daytime one stains everything. It's black. I don't know whose idea was that, but it was the worst. Her nail clippers. Her accessories. Some hair bows and things like that. And, uh-oh. And you can kind of see through here as well. I'm also bringing her comb and some nail files. This is actually Velcro. And closes up just like that. And then it just wraps around through here. And that is how it closes. This came with, um, it's kind of like a toiletry set. And I just thought it would be a really good idea to keep all of those small items together. I'm also bringing her smaller bath time things. Here are her Johnson's Cotton Touch um, Newborn Face and Body Lotion and Newborn Wash and Shampoo. I know she's not newborn, but gentle is gentle. We are also bringing cocoa butter. This is what we use on her face because it, if it does get happen to get dry, she also um, gets uh, moisture underneath her neck because she is such a chunky monkey. If you watched if you watched any of my previous videos. And uh, this kind of blocks the um, bad moisture so that it doesn't break out into a rash. And then Vaseline, good old fashioned classic Vaseline. This um, we put into her hair with the lotion and that is works as a detangler and kind of as a mousse on her baby hair without using any harsh products. On to the clothing. So I decided to bring her. Oh, by the way, we are going tonight and we are coming, which is Friday, um, and the 19th, and we are coming back on Sunday, um, which will be the 21st. So um, basically one day. Anyways, um, so I'm going to bring her two sleepers and a two piece pajama set. Um, I realize that she's not going to be sleeping for four, <laughs> for three whole nights, but they're babies, you never know. Um, as far as outfits are concerned, I am bringing one, two, three, four, five pairs of pants. Um, part of the reason why I'm bringing so much as well is because I don't really have time to match up a whole bunch of different outfits, but that's okay. You can just bring a bunch of stuff and it'll go together. I did kind of pre-plan this, but not too much. Um, this sleeveless onesie top and the super cute pants that goes with it. I love that so much. I actually need to grab the headband that matches, but anyways. And then here are the tops that match those. This Don't Just Fly Soar Dumbo t-shirt in honor of the new release. I'm also bringing one, two, three uh, regular sleeveless uh, Gerber organic cotton onesies. We just, uh, fun fact, we just had to go I had to yesterday go and grab um, a whole new pack of onesies for 18 months because the ones that she had was six to nine months and overnight she literally jumped that many sizes. And then I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bibs. She'll probably still run through all of them, but I also have her diaper bag receiving blankets. Her Oh The Places You'll Go 12 month shirt, t-shirt. Some of these that I'm bringing still have tags on them, and I want her to be able to wear them before she grows out of them too much. This outfit, which is my absolute favorite, it's got long sleeves. My mom found it on Facebook, and it's a onesie, but it's really like a silky material. And it has a little um, waist belt, but because she is so chunky, I usually kind of just use it as a headband because I don't want her little tummy to be restricted. And then this Revolution hoodie um it's gonna be kind of cool one day and then really warm the next so i wanted to give her some play some playful options that will allow her to be cool if she needs to and warm if she needs to we're also going to be bringing oh bless you mama 
We're also going to be bringing this 12 month Cat and Jack sweatshirt or zip up jacket from with little bear ears and a bear face super cute on um, from Target. Again, just another layer. It's easy to go on and off if the weather happens to be crazy. With it this time of year, it is really difficult to um, dress her sometimes because you just never know. And then if I'm hot, I feel like she's hot. And if she's if I'm cold, I feel like she's cold. And then my mom is always there to tell me um, that's too much or that's not enough. So I like to bring some options. And as far as shoes go, I am bringing her all white Vans. Pretty much go with anything that she has. And I'm also bringing her colorful Vans to go with a couple of her more colorful options. And um, we are going to see family that she is meeting for the first time. So I am bringing a little bit of her nicer outfits rather than just bringing a bunch of sleepers because that's definitely an option as well. So keep that in mind. You don't have to bring all the, you know, best outfits ever. But you definitely want to have some options. Um, then I am bringing all four, well, not the gray, but because those are dirty, but these are knee-high socks that I get my mom found on Facebook in nude or tan, black, white, and I almost said rose gold, um, and blush pink, which is my favorite color. As you can see over there, her blanket is also that color. Um, I'm bringing these four because really they're not knee-highs on her. They're like crew height. And um, it gives her something cute to scrunch down or pull up if she doesn't have any pants on or something like that. But super versatile and they can stand alone without shoes. Perfect choices if you can find some of those. And um, as far as blankets go, I'm bringing two options in case one gets dirty. They're both from the same thing. I think they're from Target. These again were a gift. So it has Sherpa on one side and this soft um, arrowhead uh, pattern on the other side and it is gray and then the second blanket I'm bringing is also Sherpa on one side if you're noticing a pattern here all of her blankets are like this and then this really soft just blush pink on the opposite side and this one I'm actually gonna leave out of her bag so we can use it in the car this is oh bless you mama this is my Bobby body wrap super soft material I love the gray this folds down so that um, if she wants to face forward she can and I can flip it back up if she wants to be asleep I love this because you can kind of cheat it's really a harness and it's got these shoulder straps and um, then you can still wrap around with these long pieces here I will do another video in the future if you guys want on um, how, how I put this on the pros and cons on it and how she sits in it um, being her 21 pound chunky monkey self and I'm just gonna place this in here as well um, and now that is almost almost all of what's gonna go in that bag um, because the rest you need access to but um, as far as baby food we're only doing one day and right now she just gets baby food once a day so I'm gonna bring we'll watch this <laughs> um, a Gerber baby spoon in the color red and some green beans which are her favorite and I'm just going to go ahead and stick those in there as well just because they will fit. And then the good old Kirkland brand infant formula. If you have a Costco membership, I absolutely suggest this if your baby can use it because it is gentle on their tummy. Um, and first of all, the scoop, get this, is in the lid. I don't know if anyone else is as impressed about that as I am, but I for sure am. So that is the case with that you get about three more ounces than you do normally with other brands and get this it is actually about half the half the price it's fifteen dollars for this side size i know i'm quaking so we definitely stock up on this i use my ebt card to purchase it as well so um definitely more bang for my buck but we're going to be bringing this because i do breastfeed as much as possible but we will be there with family that's meeting her they may want to give her a bottle things like that so I'm going to be bringing this in the car as well. I am also bringing a partially used um, bag of Huggies Natural Care Wet Wipes and just one half of a box of diapers. And I don't know exactly how many this is. I could probably, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. So about 30-ish diapers for the weekend. Um, I have no idea, honestly, how many she goes 
through in a day but I know it's a lot and I would much rather have more than less and uh, more than not enough and these just happen to be perfectly packaged already under her crib so I'm just gonna take this um other than that we also are bringing her diaper bag which I'll do a what's in my diaper bag haul later on when I have more time but in there is going to be her constipation ease gripe water her nose Frida booger suction thing um her saline drops for her nose her vitamin d um vitamin drops and three uh Tommy Tippy nine ounce bottles we do not give her nine ounces at a time at five months that's just how big the bottles are and um as well as a receiving blanket a burping a burping towel three or four no I added more four or five diapers and a to-go diaper case or wet wipes case um that we put these in so that it doesn't take up as much space in the diaper bag as well as an additional outfit and a few more bibs and um that's what we're gonna have in the car with us so and it's a backpack by kate spade it matches my wallet if you saw that previous video before it's the same texture same color same um label and everything i got that as a set for my birthday but anyways that is all that i have for you guys today and if you have any suggestions about what you would want to bring or what you brought on your first time, mention it down there in the comment section so that you can help out all of our other mothers out there. Let me know if you have any questions about what I am bringing or where I got it. I'll do my best to answer um, where I got things even if I'm not able to link them. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already. I do unboxing planner videos, um, budget with me's, and mommy videos like this. Um, and press that like button if this was helpful to you or share it with a friend if you think that they would find this useful. And like I said, as always, I will catch you next one, guys. Bye.